I'm Kevin Shaw, and you're watching Long Haul. Okay, so we just came back from the water. We were test riding the 2018 Riva Edition GP 1800R. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is like the third, this is the third iteration of the, of the Riva Edition Yamaha? That's correct. 2016, we built 25 Yamaha FZRs. Okay. And then uh, 2017, we built 25 Yamaha GP 1800Rs. Right. And now we're coming back to 2018 and building another 25 Yamaha GP 1800Rs. Fantastic. Now this is, an, uh, this is an amazing unit. You say that every year you guys make 25 of these. Correct. Wow. Okay. So they go to just to everyone who orders first and first come first serve? That's pretty much the way it goes. Um, some go to the United States, some go internationally. They go to any, anywhere from a full racer to a recreational guy who just wants to feed his friend on Well, I'll tell you what, this will definitely do it. Now, prior to going out on your test lake, we were told that this does around 85, 86 miles an hour. Is that right? That's correct. It's uh, about 86 miles an hour, incredible acceleration, yeah. and extremely reliable for this kind of power performance. Well, uh, I can't believe how responsive the GP1800 is to everything that Rio Racing is doing. Can you walk me through a little bit about what I just wrote? Absolutely, let's do it. Okay. Starting with the exterior of the craft, we did a very custom graphics package which is exclusive to the GP1800R. Matches perfectly with the red, white, and blue color theme. Every anodized aluminum component is red on this ski. Typically, Riva racing parts are anodized in, in clear or natural colors or black, but for these 25 units, all red to match the scheme of the ski. So, red anodized, custom graphics package, custom jet trim seat cover with the red stitching, it's all color keyed, non-slip seat cover, and the rear traction mats has the laser engraved Riva racing logo. Under the hood is basically our stage two kit. The stage two kit produces about 350 horsepower. We powder coated the valve cover red for cosmetics, it's a stock valve cover. And the supercharger is actually a stock supercharger. We just upgraded the uh, supercharger impeller shaft for reliability, uh, say if we put the Riva heavy duty shaft kit. Air enters the engine through our Riva power filter kit, which is a cool air induction kit, into the stock supercharger. It's then cooled through the Riva power cooler, which is a big inner cooler, and it's hooked to an HKS blow off valve. The HKS blow off valve uh, releases excessive boost pressure, which helps save your clutch life in this high performance environment. Fuel is fed to the engine through our big uh, Riva Racing fuel rail, and the fuel management system is done with a reflashed factory ECU. So the ECU, which is the engine control unit, has been remapped or reprogrammed using the Riva Map Tuner X reflash system. With this system, we can optimize fuel delivery, timing, and rev limit for maximum horsepower. The exhaust exits the engine through the stock water box, but we have removed the factory sound suppression system, which is these plastic plenums that, that quiet the, the stock ski down, and we replaced it with our Riva rear exhaust kit. The rear exhaust kit has a nice exhaust note. It's not overpowering, but it sounds really cool, and the exhaust exits through the transom of the ski through a nice red anodized aluminum rear exhaust outlet. Looks really tough. Also under the hood, we're keeping engine temperatures down with a Riva engine cooling upgrade kit that brings a second cooling line to the engine so we can cool this engine down with all this horsepower we're making. We have also made one internal engine modification. The only internal engine modification is we've replaced the factory valve retainers, which are made out of a mild steel, with our lightweight Riva titanium valve retainers. This allows us to rev the engine at a higher RPM very safely. With all this horsepower, it was very important for us to upgrade the handling and ergonomics of this craft. We started with the steering system. We replaced the factory steering system, which is mostly made out of plastic and aluminum, with a high-performance precision billet aluminum system that we machined. It accepts our aftermarket 32-inch bars and these ODI grips. This gives you a really solid, secure feel on the water when you're turning into a, into a sharp turn. Moving down to the side of the ski, we've upgraded the sponsons with our Riva Pro Series sponsons. These are the same sponsons that the Yamaha factory race team uses, the Riva Racing factory race team, on the water that we've won many championships with. The sponsons are fully adjustable. The blades will drop down and make this machine turn like it's on rails. Moving underneath the ski, we've replaced the stock aluminum intake rate with our Riva top loader intake rate, which is manufactured out of stainless steel. 
The stainless steel material is important because it's very, very strong. If you hit a coconut or anything in the water at 85 miles an hour, this grate will not let you down. We also have the Riva Ride Plate, which has a different angle cut on the bottom, trims the nose of the craft up more for more top speed. The pump impeller has been replaced with a Solus pump impeller, which has the optimum pitch to match with this engine packet, spinning just the right RPMs for top speed that we need. That's fantastic, and I appreciate the walkthrough on this, especially because having been able to feel, you know, the seat of my pants and being, on a, being able to go out there on the water and really rip on it, it's neat to get the kind of walkthrough as to all the work and all the detail that Reba put into this. We spent a lot of time engineering the ski. Each one is hand built, and we only build 25 a year. So when these are gone, you gotta wait until next year to get the next one. Right, yeah, I heard there's only like maybe 10 or 11 left, so you got it pretty fast. That's right? correct, we have about 11 or 12 units left for okay. 2018. By the way, each one of these skis is serial number, one through 25. Oh, so cool. you can say I have number seven or number eight. It's a very tight-knit club. Very cool. this unit. Awesome, well, I look forward to riding more and seeing what else you guys come up with. That's fantastic. Thanks for coming down and testing it. I appreciate it, thank you. Thank you. I'm Kevin Shaw, and you've been watching Long Haul. Make sure to check us out Monday through Friday at watercraftjournal.com. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss a single episode of Long Haul.